Hey, Jason here. I'm a senior platform solutions consultant at Adobe focused on the Adobe Experience Cloud. And this is my first week back in the office after getting in from the Adobe Summit in Las Vegas. And one of the uh, exciting conversations that we had with all of our customers, we had about 15,000 people in town, was launched by Adobe, Adobe Launch. And as the headline says here, it's a tag manager for today that's ready for tomorrow. The purpose of this video is not to discuss all the great benefits of Adobe Launch. I would urge you to watch some of the various YouTube videos like I'm showing here that exist, such as getting started with Launch by Adobe. What I want to talk about primarily is you have a website just like me, um, but yours is significantly more expansive and it's a corporate site, but I'm going to use my personal blog here and I already have DTM deployed. I already have tools deployed. So how am I going to actually migrate my site to launch and take advantage of all the great extensions and all the great things that it can provide? I've been told, and uh, I'm going to show you how the existing JavaScript on your page, that is DTM, can be linked to use launch. So I'm going to dig into this right now and show you what I'm talking about. So this is my page. It's a personal blog, nothing too fancy here. I do want to say I understand your environment is going to be significantly more complex. Financial institutions and wealth management companies clearly have much more integration points and QA processes than I have. So what I'm showing you here is how it will functionally work. You're going to have to adapt your current QA processes and standards and understand any modifications you might have made that will be uh, make this deployment a little bit different. So I have a vanilla DTM deployment with tools deployed by Adobe with no drastic changes. So I'm just saying all this cautionary words because I don't want you to just think you can click these buttons and be done in five minutes. Theoretically, you should be able to, but follow your corporate standards and QA processes to make sure everything is in line. The first thing you're going to want to do is actually go into Adobe DTM, Adobe Dynamic Tag Manager, the old version of it, uh, which is just by going here into activation in the Adobe Experience Cloud. You're going to want to click Dynamic Tag Management at the bottom. And when you click that, it's going to take you to the screen you're familiar with. I'm going to go into my 114 demo environment and my blog here. And what I'm looking for is the embed code that is right here. And I actually want to look at this specific production code and copy that because that is going to be the keys to success in linking DTM code to the new launch code and extensions. The next thing you're going to want to do is actually go into the actual Adobe launch platform. For all sakes and purposes, I'm just going to create a simplistic property here. A property is the site. So I'm basically saying, yes, I know jams.net exists in DTM, but I am going to have to create that property again here um, and then link the two together. So I'm creating my property. And then once I actually create the property, I will want to add a specific adapter. So I'm basically saying this property is going to be leveraged using Akamai to actually send the code to the page effectively. So I'm going to create the adapter. If you've done this before, you know how this works. But I'm instead of saying it's hosted, I'm actually saying Akamai is delivering it. So I'm going to save that. These are basic elements you need to do so I can get you to a point of actually showing you how DTM link code will, will work together. Now I'm going to go to environments and this is why I'm going to create my new environment. I'm just going to jump right to production environment for this example because I really want you to see fairly quickly how the code works. So I'm going to say select. I'm going to call it JSON production and I'm going to select that Akamai adapter that I set up. This is where the magic happens. Link DTM embed code. So I do not want to have to tell my manager in order to go to launch, I need to put all new code on the pages. I want to say I'm going to update and progress DTM, which is Adobe Dynamic Tag Manager, to launch by Adobe, which is our you know enhanced and you know new release tag management system that goes light years beyond what DTM can do. I'll simply check that box and paste that code in there, and it's going to effectively link the two together. Now I've already done this, so I'm going to cancel out of this, and I'm going to actually go to a property that is done, Jason's blog. I'm going to go to environments. I'm going to go to production, and this is what's going to happen when you link it together. This green check mark is saying, great, 
I found the DTM code on that page and it exists. I am now going to use that code to deliver Adobe Launch to that page. Launch by Adobe is then going to be updated and enable me to actually use all the new extensions and fundamentally everything you might have learned at Adobe Summit or what you've watched in the videos. So it's fairly simplistic to do that. One pro tip here for you. When you link the two together, if you're like me, you might dig into the documentation a little much and you're wondering, why can't I click save? Why can't I click save? It's grayed out. That green check mark is basically saying you're good to go. For whatever reason, I started thinking, well, wait a second, do I have to do something with this code? Ignore this. We're just using the link DTM and bid code. We got the green check mark. We can say close. We're good to go. So I've successfully told my production site um, use the existing code on there, and now launch will be invoked. So website will load, code will invoke and say, hey, Adobe, what do I do? And Adobe says, hey, wonderful. Adobe, uh, launch by Adobe is going to inject everything it wants to inject into that page. But you're probably asking yourself, what am I going to do with DTM? Once this is set up and working, you will want to go to Adobe Dynamic Tag Manager and you're going to need to disable that. So you have to be methodical about your process, work with your QA teams and technical teams to talk about how you're going to push this out to maybe a staging environment or a development environment, do all the QAs and eventually progress it live and disable DTM. How do you push the tools that, were, that we called it in Dynamic Tag Manager? Remember, you would then say, I want to push Adobe Analytics as a tool. You are going to have to do that in launch. So I'm going to simply click Extensions. I'm going to click Catalog. And in here, I can click Install Adobe Analytics, Install Adobe Target, and a whole lot of other great extensions that are available with many being developed every single day. So you can search for whatever you want up here. You could say Target as an example and it will find Adobe Target, and I'm gonna install it. So that's now pushing Target to that page. So those existing Adobe Target experiments I have set up will function as they should on the page using the DTM code that is now basically saying, uh, invoking launch and using the goodness of launch and the extensions. So if anything, I hope this video showed that the functionality uh, was well thought. Uh, it works, it functions, and it's going to make your life easier to actually progress to launch by Adobe, which I'm sure you want to do because you're going to be able to take advantage of tremendous benefits with it and an amazing assortment of extensions and other great things that are happening. Again, my name is Jason Miller. I'm a senior platform solutions consultant at Adobe, and please do follow me on Twitter. Twitter at real time Jason uh, at real time Jason I should say um, on Twitter and I would love to uh, chat with you if you have any questions you can reach out to me um, by way of social media or email and I'm more than happy to answer any questions thanks for watching hope it was helpful and have a great day.